Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Nature City Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Pradelli, and I'm also the CEO and co-founder of Nature City, having started the business over 20 years ago with my wife, Beth. And since then, it's been our pleasure to serve over a half a million Americans by offering them the best supplements we can make. In today's episode, we're going to address a question we often get, which is, should I take 10 milligrams or 20 milligrams daily of lutein for a vision support. To help address this question, we have to first cover some of the basics of what lutein does with respect to vision health. Um, and if you're not familiar with lutein, it's a carotenoid, an antioxidant found in green leafy vegetables. In particular, spinach and kale have relatively high concentrations of lutein, but we don't typically get enough daily to help support vision health. So um, what does it do? Well, lutein is a major component of a protective pigment that's in the back part of the eye called the macula. Okay. Part, um, so what does this protective pigment do? Well, part of light is a spectrum of waves called blue light. Okay, and this is true whether we're talking about sunlight, um, light from digital devices, indoor lighting, they all have a component of blue light. Now, unlike other light waves, blue light can penetrate deep into the back of the eye, okay, and where it can cause, uh, where it can reach the macula and the retina and can really cause damage over time. It's not like a, not a right away thing. It can accumulate this, you know, can cause oxidative stress and other problems over time. So the body has a natural way of helping to protect against the, the damaging effects of blue light. And that's called this macula pigment of which lutein is a very big component. You know, this protective uh, pigment basically filters out blue light before it can cause damage and also helps prevent oxidation damage accordingly. And in case you're not familiar with the macula, it is an important part of our vision, right? It plays a big role in central vision, um, you know, in color sharpness and just the details of what we're, you know, of seeing what we're looking at. So it's a very important part of, you know, of our overall vision health and is susceptible as we age to being damaged from blue light and, you know, other sources of free radicals. So um, we should mention this macula pigment. Besides lutein, there are two other related carotenoids, antioxidants, that are major components of the macula pigment. That's zeaxanthin and another zeaxanthin isomer called mesozeaxanthin. You know, together they really f- um, form a big part or, you know, are found in high concentrations in this macula pigment. And they're all important for helping you maintain healthy vision as we age. So back to lutein, respect to lutein, um, dietary research has basically shown, or some of the early dietary research has shown that we need to get at least eight milligrams a day of lutein to help us maintain healthy vision. Okay. On average, um, you know, in America, we, we get about two milligrams, um, which is, you know, not adequate, which makes lutein a prime candidate for supplementation. You know, to, so to help, you know, and, you know, when it comes to supplements, you see lots of different levels, right? You see very little, one milligram, three milligrams, maybe six milligrams, and then you see, um, you know, 10 milligrams and even 20 milligrams. Uh, we um, wouldn't recommend going above 20 milligrams a day in lutein supplementation. Um, that's when, you know, you know, these carotenoids, basically, um, your body doesn't need large amounts of that, amounts of them. I mean, and, you know, if you're not familiar with carotenoids, you know, you have lutein, zeaxanthin, you also have lycopene, which is like found in tomatoes. And then uh, one of our favorite nutrients, an antioxidant called astaxanthin, which essentially comes from algae. So what's all common about these is you generally need small amounts. So you don't need to go too heavy on the supplementation. So that's why we recommend not going above 20 milligrams daily with respect to lutein in your supplements. Let's get back to our original question. 
we have, um, which is, well, should I take 10 milligrams or 20 milligrams a day for vision health? You know, we have 10 milligrams of lutein in our True Vision product, in a capsule of our True Vision product. And we find this is good for most people um, who are, are, are trying to support vision health. And here's why. Well, first, lutein is a fat soluble nutrient. Okay. And like other fat sol soluble nutrients, it can accumulate in the body. Okay. It's different from water soluble um, vitamins, for example, or other nutrients where your body essentially excretes what it doesn't need at that particular moment in time. Fat soluble is a little different. It'll, you know, these nutrients can accumulate in cells or tissues or wherever they, they, they need, like in this case, the macula pigment. Second, we have to keep in mind what's the ultimate goal with lutein respect to vision health, which is to increase and maintain that protective macula pigment to help guard against the damaging effects of blue light. So researchers use um, to measure, you know, the amount of macula pigment in your body or, in, you know, in your macula, researchers use equipment to test for something that's called MPOD. That's M-P-O-D. It stands for macula pigment op optical density. Macula pigment optical density. And that's, it's pretty much the standard, um, accepted standard for measuring, for getting, for assessing how much um, macula pigment you may have at any particular time. So my favorite study to address this question of how much lutein to take was published in 2016 by researchers from the University of Georgia who conducted a head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head test to study um, you know, what happens when you take different amounts of lutein and how does it really help and optimize this MPOD um, test? Well, and I should say, you know, one of the reasons it's a favorite study of mine is it's best when the same study is doing a head-to-head -head comparison. In this case, there were three groups, three different amounts of lutein, just because you're using the same population, same group, and it's just better within the same study to be able to compare um, compare results. You know, another reason I really like this study is it used the same Ludamax 2020 blend that we use in our True Vision product. Um, it's from Marigold Marigold Flowers, and you know, again, it has not only lutein, but the just as important zeaxanthin and mesoxanthin. Right? Again, all three of those are in the macula pigment, and we need all three of them. We want all three of them uh, in our supplement. So in the study, the researchers recruited um, healthy young adults, and they basically gave them one of three dosages of Ludamax 2020. So the first group had six milligrams, the second group 11 milligrams, and the third group 22 milligrams of lutein daily for 12 weeks. Now, why they didn't use 5, 10, and 20? Um, just to make everyone's life easier. Uh, I don't know. Suppose there's a story there, but for what we're discussing today, it doesn't really make any practical difference uh, being the 6, 11, 22 milligram groups. So again, um, they receive this daily for 12 weeks, one of these dosages daily for 12 weeks. And of course, they also um, had the zeaxanthin and mesozeaxanthin that is found in the Ludamax 2020 Marigold blend. So what they find? Well, when lutein in the blood serum was measured, those who were taking the high amount of 22 milligrams of lutein certainly had much higher concentrations of lutein in their blood than the 11 milligram group or certainly the six milligram group. But let's remember that's not the main goal when taking lutein for vision health. It's to increase and ultimately maintain the protective macula pigment as measured by MPOD. And the MPOD measurements told a different story. After 12 weeks, the 22 milligram lutein group increased MPOD by 0.19 units. But the 11 uh, milligram group increased by 0.17 units, 17 units. So it was 0.19 versus 0.17. 
So said differently, um, 100% more lutein only resulted in about 10% more MPOD, right? So not really much of a difference. Um, and by the way, if you're curious, the six milligram group increased MPOD by 0.11 units. Yeah, it's a respectable increase for just 12 weeks. But these results led the researchers to conclude in the study that the middle group taking 11 milligrams a day of lutein was the most efficient for increasing MPOD. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with taking the higher amount necessarily, but maybe um, if you think about it the way I do, you know, I'd rather spend that extra money um, somewhere else for that might support my vision, um, vision health, if you will. For example, that's why we added um, a saffron extract to True Vision. You know, instead of doubling up on the lutein zeaxanthin, we thought a separate nutrient, which also has some nice vision health benefits, uh, which is a saffron ex, a specific saffron extract, would be a better way to spend, um, you know, your supplement dollars, since there really wasn't much of a difference between the 22 milligram group and the 11 milligram group with, of you know, lutein consumption. Now, you know, an important part of this study that, again, we should mention is it wasn't just lutein they were taking, right? They had the benefit of the zeaxanthin zeozan and the mesozeaxanthin too, right? And that probably helped increase the MPOD faster than if they were just taking lutein by itself. You know, another thing, you know, just keep things in perspective, you know, this is one study and, you know, involved healthy young adults. You know, it's possible with older adults, um, maybe it's a little different result. You know, you know, I was curious about this. So I was speaking to some professionals in this area who are familiar with the research. And they said, you know, this trend is not uncommon. You know, sometimes after three months, for example, those taking a higher amount of lutein may see a higher, uh, a greater improvement in MPOD. But essentially by six months, it's almost identical, right? You know, you kind of reach that optimal level and your body has what it needs and you just need to maintain that level. So really, um, it doesn't, you know, it, it's a little bit of a timing thing. You know, um, some people may, one strategy is you would take two True Vision capsules a, a day for the first month or two to help jumpstart results. But if you're taking just one um, capsule a day, that generally is going to be just fine, especially if you're planning on using um, True Vision for the long term, which is, of course, what we recommend you do because it's a constant battle where you're having to um, protect yourself from the damaging effects of this blue light. So, um, so let's summarize the ways to proceed here. First of all, Really important that your supplement, yeah, your eye health supplement, not only have lutein, but both zeaxanthin and mesozeaxanthin also. Okay. And the easiest way to do this, we found, is by looking for products with the Lutamax 2020 Marigold blend. Okay. Not only does it give you um, lutein and zeaxanthin, but uniquely it has a good amount of the mesozeaxanthin as part of that blend. Okay. You don't often, you know, I haven't seen that with a lot of other ingredients that are available. You know, mesozeaxanthin is is hard. You know, we say lutein is is, you know, usually we come up with short on lutein from diet. Well, mesozeaxanthin is even more of a challenge to get from diet alone. Um, now in your body, you know, your body can convert lutein to mesozeaxanthin. But, you know, that means, again, you may need more lutein um, in that case. And then there's really questions about conversion efficiency. You know, um, as we age, our bodies don't convert these nutrients as efficiently as when you're young. And, f and frankly, when it comes to the conversion of lutein to mesozeaxanthin, you know, I've read that up to 20% of population can't make this conversion at all. You know, it's similar to it's similar to how your body, um, some of us can't convert folic acid, which is a synthetic form of folate, to the active form of, of folate called methylfolate, right? Um, about 30% of population, including me, um, you know, doesn't have the ability to do that. It just comes down to a genetic um, 
of genetic defect is just, a, you know, we just genetically aren't programmed, some of us, to make that conversion. So for someone like me, taking folic acid is, is, is really not beneficial because my body can't do what it needs to do, which is converted to an active form, which is the methylfolate. Same principle here with respect to converting lutein to mesozeaxanthin. Um, 20%, according to the statistics I read, of us can't do it at all. Forget like efficiency as we may um, age, we just can't do it at all. So again, that's why I um, really recommend, look for lutein, zeaxanthin, and the mesozeaxanthin together like we do have in True Vision. Um, you know, again, um, it comes down to a little bit of personal preference, whether you want to take one um, capsule of True Vision or, or two um, capsules. Um, I can tell you in our, in, our, in our household, we take different amounts. Um, I take one capsule a day of True Vision. Beth takes two capsules. She just thinks it helps, you know, that's what she needs. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a little bit of personal preference. You know, it's always good. Um, as we always recommend to consult, in this case, with your eye doctor, get their perspective on it and, um, and really figure out what's best for you. But again, generally, um, we think one capsule of True Vision should do the job um, when it comes to when it comes certainly to lutein and zeaxanthin and mesozeaxanthin for vision health. If there's other reasons why you want to take more lutein, that's fine, too. But again, um, generally don't recommend going above 20 milligrams a day for an extended period of time. So that's it for this week's episode. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you like what you're hearing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future episodes. You can also um, listen to your favorite podcast streaming service to hear us. Uh, we're on Apple Podcast, we're on Spotify, we're on Google Podcast, and certain others um, also. So again, thank you for listening. And this is Carl Pradelli, and I will see you next week.